Hello everyone, how you doing there? Our today's topic is advantages and disadvantages of roots of drug. If you want to understand this topic, then I will suggest you to visit my previous video that was roots of drug administration because I am afraid that if you will not visit that video then you may not understand this topic. I will give you the link in the description below. You may visit from that link. Okay, so now come to our topic advantages and disadvantages of roots of drug. So first root was oral root. Now let's see advantages of oral roots. First one is it is most convenient and most acceptable root. Other is used for local as well as systemic action of drugs. It do not require sterile techniques for administration. Delivery of drug into circulation is slow, so adverse effects are less. These are the most common advantages of oral route. We are not going in detail, so these are just common advantages. So let's see what is disadvantages of oral route. First is rate of absorption is variable. Irritation of mucosal surfaces can occur. Extensive hepatic metabolism may occur before the drug reaches its site of action. This one is most important. The next and last one is onset of action is delayed thus unsuitable in emergency situation. That means we cannot use oral route in emergency situation. We just need IV, IM or subcutaneous or any other route but we will not, we will not use oral route in emergency. Now come to sublingual. What is sublingual? It is placement of drug under the tongue. It allows a drug to diffuse into the capillary network and therefore to enter the systemic circulation directly. Now let's see the advantages of sublingual root. Rapid absorption and effect glycerol trinitrate in angina and spitting out the tablet can terminate the effect. Low incidence of infection avoidance of first pass metabolism and first pass metabolism is also known as extensive hepatic metabolism. I repeat that we are talking about the most common advantages and disadvantages. We are not going in detail. So these are the advantages of sublingual root. Now let's about let's see about disadvantages of sublingual. It is inconvenient for frequent use and irritation of oral mucosa and excessive salivation may occur. So now next one is intravenous intramuscular and subcutaneous roots. The advantages of these roots are drugs get to the site of action more rapidly, providing a rapid response 
which may be required in an emergency. As I told you that in emergency situations, we use IV, IM and subcutaneous and some other methods. So next one is those can be more accurately delivered and suitable for drugs that are not absorbed from DIT. These are the advantages of intravenous, intramuscular and subcutaneous routes. Now let's see disadvantages of these routes. Disadvantages are include more rapid absorption can it can increase adverse effects and local irritation may occur at the site of injection. These roots are irreversible and may cause pain, fear and infection. So if you like my today's video then please like, share and subscribe and do not forget to visit www.hanshinclinic.com it spells like h-a-n-x-i-n-c-l-i-n-i-c.com i will give you the link in the description below for this website you may find many interesting medical related articles over there and i'm sure that you will love those articles so thank you so much for today see you next time